वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम वन पॉइंट टू थ्री सो स्टेटमेंट इज अ फाइव अ फाइव बाई एट इंच डायमीटर स्टील रॉड ए बी इज फिटेड टू अ राउंड होल नियर एंड सी ऑफ द वुडन मेंबर सी डी फॉर द लोडिंग शोन डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम एवरेज नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इन द वुड द डिस्टेंस बी फॉर विच द एवरेज शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज हंड्रेड पी एस आई ऑन द सर्पिस इंडिकेटेड बाई डैश लाइन एंड सी एवरेज बेरिंग स्ट्रेस ऑन द वुड so from this figure you can see this is the wood and this is rod ab that is made up of steel the load on this rod is 750 and 750 and here there is load of 1500 pounds which cause the tension in this wooden piece it will be like this one clear so what we have to find is average normal stress in the wood and this distance dash line is given we have to find this b for which shearing stress is 100 psi and bearing stress in the wood so let's start with the solution so first step is that in first part we have to find maximum normal stress normal stress in wood now you can see that uh, due to this tensile load 1500 in this and 1500 in this this wood member will be in tension and in tension what will be the area contributed so this weight whole weight 4 minus this diameter into this weight will be give will be the area so net area net area will be equal to this weight 4 minus diameter clear diameter diameter into width because in tension we subtract this whole because only this portion is taking the load that's why 4 minus this diameter into this width will be the area so 4 minus 5 by 8 multiplied by width is you can see width is 1 inch so this will give you net area which is 3.375 square inch we know that uh, average normal stress is equal to load per unit area so load is given as 1500 tensile force so 1500 divided by net area is 3.375 which will give you 444 psi so this is the answer of our first part that average normal stress in wood is 444 psi now we will move toward second part and in second part which is distance b distance b for shearing stress is given as 100 psi so we know that shearing stress is equal to shearing load per unit shearing area so from here load is p shearing area is this this load will cause this load will cause the this uh, uh, sh uh, shaft steel shaft to move in this direction so shearing area will be this b into uh, thickness t so i will write b is this distance and thickness t okay we have the shearing area so b into t will be equal to p divided by shearing stress we are interested to find out b so b is equal to p divided by shearing stress into thickness so p load is given as 1500 divided by shearing area uh, shearing stress is 100 multiply by thickness t which is one since we have two sharing area one it will share along this and the second one is along this so we will multiply it with two sharing area will be equal to two okay so this will be two times so thickness is given as one multiply by two so from here you will get this b will be equal to 7.50 inch so b is equal to 7.50 inch
this is the answer of our second part and in third part it is given that in part c average bearing stress bearing stress on wood wood so we know that uh, average bearing stress on wood is bearing stress uh, bearing force divided by the bearing area so bearing area is this one this is the bearing area diameter into thickness t this is diameter and this is thickness t so we will write p divided by diameter into thickness t so you can just put the value bearing stress is equal to load is again 1500 diameter is 5 by 8 inch and thickness is 1 inch so when you calculate it you will get bearing stress which comes out to be 2400 psi and this is the answer of our third part and that was all about this problem 1-23 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video which i post and if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching and liking my videos